This video is brought to you by BoardGamePrices.com. Find the best prices for board games at BoardGamePrices.com. Kia ora koutou. this is Welcome to Dino World in about 3 minutes. Kickstarter edition, review copy used. This is a game for one to many players. It has a solo mode using automa cards. Playing time is under an hour. It's a reasonably simple to moderately complex game. Ever wanted to design your own dinosaur theme park? Well now you and up to 75 of your friends can do exactly that. Just grab a pad, a trusty pencil and you can design the park from the ground up. Will you wow your visitors with your amazing exhibits? Or will your guests simply be snack food for the dinos. You win if you have the most points at the end of 8 turns. Points come from many sources, including what dinosaurs are in your park, visitor cards, facilities and the optional public objectives. Competitive! Everyone is trying to build the best dinosaur theme park. Roll and write. Each turn someone rolls dice and then everyone writes stuff on their play sheet. Player turn. There are two modes of play in this game, light mode and danger mode. For this recap we will focus on light mode and talk briefly about the changes in danger mode later. We will also only talk about playing the game with less than 10 players. To start, grab a score sheet and then deal 3 visitor cards to your left and then 3 more to your right. You are competing with the players on either side for these objectives. Then deal out 2 facility cards, one of each type. Everyone will use these facilities. Then someone, and it doesn't matter who, rolls 3 dice. Every player uses the same roll. Record these dice results down here each turn. There are 3 possible actions you can take and you can only take them once each per turn. Build paths, build pens and build facilities. Paths cost a number of dice pips based on their shape. Straight paths cost 1, as do corners. T-junctions cost 2, and crossroads cost 3. Note you can spend multiple dice on the same action if you want to. Later on, if you want to change a path, it costs 4 to turn any path into a crossroads. To build a pen, you need dice matching the values here. Note that the T-Rex needs 7, which will require 2 dice. Draw the pen to the size required for the dinosaur, then add the required generators and mark those off. Generators will work for all adjacent pens. Finally, draw the absolute absolute best dinosaur you can. Facilities require a matching die to build. You then draw the shorthand facility symbol on the board. At the end of your turn, if you meet the requirements of a visitor card, you can claim it. If both you and your neighbour do that on the same turn, you both claim it. Not happy with your dice roll? You can use research to change the results for yourself. Danger Mode introduces special labs which can be used 3, 2 and 1 times respectively. It also changes how generators work, has security and danger scores and the dinosaurs can break out and cause problems. Plan to until all 8 turns are finished, then total up your score. Why would you like this game? I've not played a lot of Roll and Writes, but this one seems a step up in terms of complexity and depth to most. There are a lot of different levers you can pull to change how each game will play, from the massive number of visitor cards, through to the different techs that are available in Danger Mode, and the many different facilities. The version of the game I have also has options for aquatic and flying dinosaurs. So this game would best suit people who enjoy Roll and Writes, but want something a bit chunkier than normal. The best thing about this game is laughing at how terrible my art skills are. However, like many roll and writes, the bulk of the game is spent staring at your own player board in quiet contemplation. For a game that can have a massive player count, it's light on actual interaction. And the player sheets are really dark, while the pencils provided are quite light. After one game we bin them for darker pencils, and I use sharpies for the review so you can clearly see. For a far heavier game about running a dinosaur park, check out Dinosaur Island. And if you want a roll and write that doesn't require drawing, try Gans Schön Clever. Welcome to Dino World, roll and scribble. If you enjoyed this video, like it subscribe to the channel and check out our patreon